looking for a permanent home. A catering business in the West End had to move after the building it was in was sold to make way for FC Cincinnati's new stadium. Tonight, the search has intensified. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is now here to explain. Tom? Well, Craig, that certainly is correct. Monica Williams went to the NAACP to get help in relocating her catering business. At the same time, she was working with FC Cincinnati on finding new space. All parties now agree there's a solution out there, but there's no agreement yet on what it should be. The shovels turned Tuesday to break ground for the new FC Cincinnati Soccer Stadium. Within hours, Monica Williams was crowned champ of the team's first ever gumbo challenge. Look for me in the future, just cooking catering. We're going to be doing all cook-offs and challenges in the near future. The question is where? Just cooking catering was based on West 15th Street and the West End, but closed in November. The building is being torn down for the FC Cincinnati Stadium. Supporters Wednesday urged Cincinnati City Council to help. People lost housing, people lost jobs, and I just don't think it's fair to the community. There are eight people who are now out of work. Uh, two on the verge of homelessness. One has become homeless. Williams filed a complaint with the Cincinnati NAACP, which met with FC Cincinnati and city leaders Wednesday to try and find a replacement solution. What we want out of this whole thing is all of us, you know, want her to be made whole. And I think she deserves that. Ms. Williams prefers to be in and remain in the West End. That, that is her primary goal. Uh, that is our primary goal. Williams has been shown space at Clark and Lynn Streets in the West End, but there are questions if she can afford the $450,000 build-out cost. FC Cincinnati Community Development Director Mark Mallory has been working with her to find a new site. What we don't want to do, though, is uh, put her in a situation where she may end up failing as a business. We don't want that. We want her to be successful. Community activists are speaking out to make sure Williams has new business space as soon as possible. We welcome progress and development in the West End. We do not welcome displacement. We do not welcome gentrification. We do not welcome higher property taxes. Now, one temporary solution is a food truck to get Williams employees back to work. Another permanent location might be the former Cuban Pete's restaurant on East Court Street. 